Hello everybody, my name is Ratnos, and today I wanted to make a quick video talking about the AMZ nerfs. Uh, so for those who don't know, the nerfs coming to AMZ are threefold. First, it's getting its cooldown increased from 2 minutes to 3. Second, it's getting its duration reduced from 10 to 8 seconds. And third, and this is the big one, is it's now capped at how much it can absorb, and it will go away after it has absorbed a certain amount of damage, which looks to be set to the health of the Death Knight with their versatility tacked on top, right? So 6% verse, then 106% of the health of the Death Knight, for instance. Um, the first two nerfs actually make it exactly the same as Darkness in both those regards. So it goes from it being a three minute cooldown now uh, with a eight second duration is exactly the same as Darkness. Uh, which is a pretty potent raid effect that saw a lot of use on, you know, Nazoth. Uh, it's seen a lot of use in, in various boss fights back since Demon Hunter became a thing. There have been a lot of fights where Darkness has been either good or great. So I don't think those nerfs necessarily disqualify the AMZ from being, you know, a useful raid effect. But the third one is the big one, right? That's the one that, that for particularly heavy incoming magic damage, where AMZ was at its best, it will be the most impactful. So let's do a little bit of math. I've got my some logs here from uh, some recent raids I've done with my guild. Uh, and this is, this is Sire Denathrius, which I think is the closest approximation to, you know, a fight where you get an incredible value out of AMZ and, and probably the most forwards looking thing, right, to an end boss next tier potentially. Uh, and we got three DKs in, which is less than most guilds ran on progression. This is a farm kill though. Um, of course, so a lot of guilds are less than the four DKs they ran originally. Um, and I picked out some of the moments where we used AMZ to do some math with here. Uh, so for instance, here is the very first big, you know, ad spawn AMZ. Uh, and it looks like about 630k damage comes in. Some of that's physical. Um, about, about 50k of this damage is like physical damage from the Insatiable Hungers, from Stagger, from Melee. Um, but, so call it 500, 550k damage falls into this AMZ window, and this is the window where AMZ was active. So assuming the entire raid was inside the AMZ, which is not always the case, I uh, usually have a couple people outside, although we try our best to get everybody inside the raid. Uh, AMZ mitigated, in that case, what, uh, 550 times 0.2, so 110k damage was mitigated by AMZ. How much could it mitigate next patch? Well, uh, let's consider the, the the cool or the duration has been reduced, so it would only last 8 seconds. There's actually more than enough damage in the first 8 seconds to chew through it entirely, so that's not going to affect its effectiveness. And all of the effectiveness uh, change will come from the new cap on how much can come through. So. How much damage would our AMZ have absorbed next if it was using 9.1 rules? Well, our Death Knight's health uh, is about 45k. 6% versatility, uh, as I said earlier. So that means the total amount of damage that it can absorb is 47,700. Uh, so it would absorb about half, a little bit less than half as much damage as 9.0 AMZ against this very heavy magic damage burst. Now this particular moment is the heaviest magic damage I could find uh, in a raid setting at all through any of the boss fights, any of the logs. So this is kind of a floor for how bad it can get uh, is, yeah, a little bit less than half effectiveness. There are a couple of caveats that I want to add as well, though. Um, first off, you can combine your AMZ with Rally and that provides even more protection against one-shots. Um, and also, it increases the amount that the AMZ can absorb, right? Because it's increasing the health of the Death Knight. Uh, so that combination can potentially be potent. Of course, your versatility against an actual progression boss fight is going to be amped up a little bit by a Vantus Rune as well. So there are a couple of ways here where I would say, in, in practice, it's probably going to do a little bit better than this. You could even think about doing degenerate things, like further increasing the stamina of your Death Knights to try and sneak a little bit more avoidance in here. Uh, but I don't think that that is going to be really something that people do for that marginal, you know, turning it from effectively a 10% DR to an 11% DR, something like that. I don't think it's going to be something that people bend over backwards to do. Um, my belief is that this will continue to be pretty good, right? 
If you consider a situation like this, uh, against this sort of damage, Darkness would be better in patch 9.1 than AMZ because it's a lot of small hits of damage, and so Darkness is probably going to get full effectiveness. But if you consider that the trade-off of Darkness is, right, it's RNG, you know, of the 20 people in your raid, the unluckiest person is probably not going to have any absorb healing from Darkness and might therefore be under a lot of pressure. Um, that's a pretty big drawback for something when you're trying to save lives, right? Uh, it might be a, a bigger drawback even than this being effectively half effectiveness, right? Being a 10% DR instead of a 20% DR. Um, so I think that it's going to land kind of in that darkness level of power against those really, really, really scary one-shotty things. Um, and I think it will still be enough to save lives in most of these cases. The other big nerf coming to it, of course, is the, the duration or the cooldown nerf. So here's the cast of AMZ for us on this kill. On progression, we have a lot more casts in this area as well, but uh, on farm, we, we kind of let off here. But if you look, you know, we have our three Death Knights casting five AMZs within a three-minute window, and we'd only be able to do three in that window in 9.1. Uh, could we survive this? Yeah, it'd be fine. We could just pick the three heaviest damage bursts, uh, cut out this AMZ, cut out, like, this AMZ, and we're, we're probably going to be totally fine with that. Um, another consideration people have mentioned is maybe you actually bring more Death Knights, so that, like, if you, you know, if you wanted to actually hit all six of the, um, the Cleansing Pains in Phase 1 and 9.1, you would want six Death Knights instead of three to be able to land those AMZs. I don't think that'll be the case, but, uh, like, I think that the, the, the cost of that will be too high in terms of what you're giving up from other classes on your roster, but it is something to consider. It's, there's always a possibility when they nerf something but it's still good that you just bring more of the class to make up for the nerf. Uh, I don't think that will be what happens here. Uh, and then, yeah, I've looked at a couple other spots here. Like, here's another big hit of... This is one of the AMZs in the last phase. Uh, that is a really good AMZ. Now, a lot of damage is coming in here. About 100k of this is physical damage on, on me and stagger damage and stuff. Um, so 400k incoming. You know, the, this is... We're now above 50% effectiveness on AMZ. Uh, because remember, what was it like 47,000 is how much can get absorbed by the 9.1 AMZ, which effectively means that it stops being useful. It stops being any more useful above about 250k incoming damage among all the people that are being hit here. And actually, these AMZs in this phase only hit half the raid, right? So of this damage, only half of it is going to be on people in an AMZ. It would still be fully effective. This AMZ would be completely un untouched by the 9.1 nerfs. Um, so yeah, basically my look at the situation is I think that I think that it's going to be fine. I think that it's going to be okay. Um, if you looked at raid rosters coming into this patch, you know there were like five or six melee slots in the world first kills, and four of them were unholy death knights, right? Of the like 18 melee specs, right? One of those specs had two-thirds of the raid spots. Um, my belief is that'll probably get shaved down a little bit just naturally, uh, and because AMZ will be less of a vital resource, but I, I think it is still in that space of like Darkness, um, slightly better than Darkness, more reliable, more useful against, you know, one-shot size damage, right? Because all you care about is getting it below that one-shot threshold, and Darkness is not particularly useful there because... You know, it's it's going to save 20% uh, of your raid's lives and 80% of your raid is going to die. Um, so, yeah, I'm I'm relatively happy with this nerf to AMZ. Uh, it is certainly a big nerf, but again, the incredible overrepresentation of of Death Knights this tier, I think, shows that you know there was a need to do something to this class because it's also its damage is you know, is great too. It does all these other good things as a, a melee DPS as well. Um, and, you know, I, I think that, I think there, there are a lot of people like, oh, you know, Blizzard's nerfed this thing too hard. But I, I actually, I think that when there's specs out there like Feral, like Enhancement, that are just looking and like, why can't I have anything like this? You know, until they give all of those specs something of a comparable power level, I think it is good to make sure that they that everything else is kind of toned down so that those specs can have a chance to compete for raid spots as well and so that we don't have idiots like Foop re-rolling to DK because that's the only thing that's good, uh, which is something we did this tier. Anyways, uh, there's my little take on AMZ. I know there's going to be a lot of angry Death Knights in the comments, but 
you know, it is what it is. I figured, figured it was worth making a video with some mathematics. Uh, to Actually, I wanted to answer for myself just how bad this, this was going to be. Uh, and the TLDR, again, is basically no change in, in five five player content. Should be exactly the same as it is right now. You won't notice a difference, uh, except for the duration nerf and the cooldown nerf, if those mattered, which I don't think they really ever did in, in dungeons. Um, and for raiding content, for very high-end mythic content, the very heaviest incoming magic damage moments, the one or two of those in any given raid tier, AMZ will be nerfed to maybe a floor of about 50% as effective as it was this patch, which was still really, really, really good, and it will still be good, at least. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash ratnose. Thanks everybody for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.